Hello, and welcome back to Dreaming Sarah. I have a feeling there's not too much left here in the game, because we only have one left, one, one left, one item left to find, and on this screen there's only two uh, items, but the one is the one we'll, we'll get in the inventory, so there's only two items left in the entire game to find, and since last time, I went around all over the place, the entire world, as far as I could tell, and I used the compass on everything, I used all the effects, and I was not really able to find anything at all. But I found one new place, in basically the last place I looked, so that's where we'll go today, and it might be the last thing maybe in the game, we'll see, I suppose. I mean, I don't think this is going to be the last episode, but we're probably getting pretty close. So, let's just randomly roll our new color for the day. It's yellow! Great! Alright, and equip this, and equip... Uh, I already have the glasses equipped, I don't really need the slow down time thing at the moment. Nothing on the compass. So yeah, let's just go. So, it turns out that thing that I found, which oddly enough, if you go in here, and you use the compass... Oh! I thought I did this, but apparently I didn't. So this does actually point to the thing. Down to the right is where I found something. If we head down to the right... I don't know exactly where. I think we need to loop the screen at least once. So you go down here, as per usual. And then I'll just soar across here. I need to land on the other side of the tooth thing. Yeah, there I looped. I could feel the loop there. It's kind of a shame that that's a thing, that he didn't, you know, put more effort or whatever, or program it better so that you could... You can tell when things loop in the way the game is right now, and that's kind of a shame. So I'm, yeah, like, right here. I'm on the, the right side of the, uh, the entire map. If I fall down, you can see this weird construction here, and it just drops all the way down, and... This looks oddly suspicious. So yeah, I missed this last time, and that, and this is the only thing that I have left to do, as far as I can tell. So, we'll drop in here. And it's a watery cave area of some sort. So yeah, this is... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm betting this item will let me swim underwater, because there was that dive down deep place, and there's now this, so... Kind of self-explanatory or whatever you want to call it. Shell necklace. You found a shell necklace. Equip it to turn into a fish. Oh. Okay, that's not what I expected. I thought it would be like a mermaid like this, or maybe just being able to swim for some reason. Alright, so you can't equip it in uh, water. You have to do it beforehand. Can I still be small if I do this? No, you can't. You have to choose either or. Can I have slow down time? Yeah, I can. Alright, but let's not do that. Let's equip this. Ah, it unequips the umbrella when I use the fish. And the glasses. That's kind of interesting. So you have to just be a fish and nothing else. And, of course, you can't move around. You can only flop about. That's kind of a nice touch. I like that. And then we drop into the water and he's still flopping around like we're about to die. But now we can swim. Great. So I guess I'll just move over here and check everything out in turn. Oh! Oh, we're at the bottom now! Aw, that's a shame. I thought there would be something secret down here that we would be able to find. So maybe this really is the last episode, maybe. We'll see how long this all takes, I suppose. So I'll just go along here, check everything out. Wait, do I want to go up? here first, maybe, and just check around this corner. Wait, what was that? Yeah, this is where I came from. Alright, so let's just dive down here. And to this side, there's nothing. And nothing. Alright, so there's only one way to go. Not too complicated there. Oh, I thought these would blow up when I touched them. But nope, they're just scenery. Alright. I can go up. It's like a little bit of a maze, an underwater maze. Alright. 
I imagine I'm probably going the right way, but I might want to go back and check the other paths as well. Oh! I want to try this now. Oh! Okay, never mind. That was strange. Why did I get, like, just shoved out? I guess if you're just, yeah, like, on the edge. Oh, and I probably just have to slow down time for that, and I can't do that while I'm a fish, so I need to go up to the surface to do that, so that explains it. I'm just gonna... Ooh! Toilet! Takes me to... another place. Do I want to go here? Hi. Hmm, I see they're letting anyone in now. So we're in some sort of club. Maybe this is the, the place on the moon that we'll show up in. Sup, cutie? Hi. I'm just gonna put on some glasses and my umbrella. Uh, what happens if I slow down time and then talk to someone? Nothing! Alright, well, he should have probably done something with that. That would have been fun. These wounds, they will never heal. What wounds? Also, this music is pretty darn loud. You can't go here, so the only place to go... Wait, is this a thing? Hold on. This looks like a door. Maybe not. Or maybe we can't go there yet. I'm not sure. But if I'm a fish when I talk to people... Sup, cutie? I'm a real cute fish. Oh, man. I don't need this. Uh, I'm gonna go back, I think. Oh, and that wasn't a tiny door, that was just a... Uh... Oh, could I see? That's a bit creepy. Wait, if I... Okay. And she's just red, which doesn't really make sense, because I have a yellow shirt now. Yeah, you can't do anything with your reflection. Oh, I can't even... Oh, jeez, I can't even get back out here now. I think I'm gonna just use the pill, because I do want to check out the remaining parts of that underwater cave first. It's easy to get back to, because I just have to dive down in the next screen. Wait, what if I'm a fish, and then I hook myself? Nothing. Well, that's a shame. And you can't be a fish in between screen transitions, apparently. Oh well. Wait, hold on, I should just do this. Just get up here, get up to the surface. Whoops. Put on this, and put on these... what? Slow time thing, why did... There we go, that was weird. So maybe I should check out some of the other routes as well. Instead of going up here, I'll just go along this way and see where I end up. Yeah, this is just up where I was, so let's go down instead. And now I'm just here, I think. This is where the toilet is. Yeah, alright, so there's not anything here as far as I can tell. There might be some other places I haven't checked out, so I'll probably explore this more thoroughly later on. There we go, that's fine. What is that? Is that a missile or something? I can't do anything with it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's very dark down here. Hi. Giant pink rock. What did one rock say to the other? Life is hard. Life is hard. Life is hard. Why is this a thing? Why did he make a pink rock under the sea? 
in the most hard to get to place. What the hell just happened? Dream and Sarah just crashed. Fantastic. Yay, we're back. Alright, that's kind of annoying. Hopefully it won't crash too much. More? We're yellow again! That's kind of strange. Is it some sort of weird cycle it's on? Maybe it's not random. I don't know, but we're back at the start, so that's just jolly. Yeah, so that's why I want to record with OBS, but I'm this far in now, so I can't really change my mind. It's become a fish again, and I guess... Wait! Hold on, need to slow down time as well. I see, you have to slow down time before you become a fish, but it stays with you as a fish, or whatever. Hopefully that was not anything that I did. Hopefully it was just random, and it won't happen again as soon as I go to that area. We'll just have to see, I suppose because that would be kind of annoying. So it's over here, and then through the thing. Like so. I'll just head up instead. Check what's here. Actually, I want to just talk to the rock. So that... the rock. So that I've done it on this save or whatever. What did one rock say? Alright, and then I'll just make sure by... You can't even open the menu as a fish. What the hell? I was gonna save. Guess I'll have to get up to the surface. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I don't want any crashes. That's not... fun. Here's something. What is that? A statue? So do I want to go here or to the club? I'm gonna check this out, I suppose. What? Why am I just back here? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Why is that not a new area? What? I don't even understand. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you put an exit that far back and then it doesn't lead anywhere? Hmm. I mean, he said this game is finished, but I'm honestly starting to doubt that, almost. Just, in some areas, it doesn't feel as expansive as it should be. But, we'll see, I suppose. So now, I guess I'll just go to the thing, the... the toilet, and we'll head to the club instead. There we go, let's equip this, and this, and this can go off, and that's probably fine. Uh, how do I exit this now? I guess I have to do that. Oh, it's pointing to the mirror. Why is it pointing to the mirror? He's yawning. But I can't do anything. Why is it pointing to the mirror, then? What if I'm, like, tiny? Still get a reflection, even though that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, if I unequip the color so I'm like, like her, still nothing. She said, oh wait, maybe she's not yawning, maybe she's pointing to her mouth, like, take the pill when you're here. Maybe, but I'm gonna wait for that and just check out the thing. Now we're bluish green, I suppose that's fine. I'm just gonna check what's in here. Okay. We're on a cheese moon or something like that. Who are you? Hey, it's you again. Who? Oh, right. It's the guy who was on the bench at the red house who gave us the seed bag. As you can see, I got a new job. Isn't that great? Is he a bouncer now? And all I have to do is guard this door. You can go in if you'd like. Thanks, guy. I was just in there. All right. Yep. 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 Thank you. Who are you? That security guard won't let me in. Would you help me? out and distract him? Thanks, you're the best. Okay. I guess I'll distract him. So, are you going in or what? Why are you staring at me like that? Come on, quit doing that. You know, about this job, 
It's the first job I've enjoyed in a long time. I'd hate to mess everything up, so I have to keep my eye on the door. Oh, I feel so bad now. I'm ruining this guy's career. Alright, well, let's just go this way and see if there's anything to go, or anywhere to go. There is, but it might just loop around. We'll see. Oh shit, as I said, I should always use the compass on every single screen. I saw what you did. Okay, is that because I let her in? It might be. Now I'm kind of curious, what if I... Aw oh, man. Aw oh, man, if I quit now I'll have to sync up the stupid recording again, but... What would he have said if we hadn't done that first? I guess... I've heard that there's two endings to this game, so I might have to replay it anyway, so I guess I'll find out at some point, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that on camera, though, because there hasn't really been that much re replay value evidence yet, for me, anyways, we'll see. Oh. Okay. So that's great. That little kid was a massive serial killer or something like that, and I just murdered everyone. And... Got... The bus card. You got a bus card. You could use to get... You could use to get anywhere. That doesn't really make any sense. Um... How do I use to get anywhere, though? I mean, the only thing I can think of is the, uh, road dimension, but, and yeah, it's probably nothing with the pill. I'll just eat the pill right here and we'll see. Yeah, that's nothing. Also, I noticed the way he fixed the overlapping music was by just not having any music at all play when you use the pill, so you have to get to a different area for music to start, which is a little bit strange. So let's just go here. See if anyone is... Nope. Still no one at the fishing rod. That fishing rod is forever doomed. But yeah, as I said about the whole... It feels a bit unfi... Oh, bus stop. Unfinished? I noticed in both the, uh, the mansion and the hell dimension, there were a bunch of doors that were barred, but I have not gone through them. So, I just don't understand if I missed anything. I don't think I did. Any different ways you could progress or something. But... I don't know, it's kind of weird. If if it's just, like, dead ends, then why did he even bother to put them in? I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna go on the bus thing. Holy shit, that was quick. And it's all bloody and shit. And it just takes me here. That's it? It's just a way to get back to the moon? Cheese dimension? Whatever this is? Then what's the fucking point? Why did I get that? I saw what you did. Yeah, you should have stopped me. I didn't know I was letting in a serial killer. And this guy didn't say anything new. And in here, everyone's just dead. I can't do this, right? No, I don't think this is a tiny door. It's just a door that's covered by the sign. Oh, there's like flies and stuff here now. I don't think they were there before, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. And yeah, I can't go anywhere else, so... Well... I guess I'll go back to the old lady at the bridge, because that's pretty much the only thing I can think of that I haven't done. But I'm just gonna swing by the lemonade stand and... the... weird plant chick first, to see if they have anything to say. This plant is weird. Whoops. It's kind of weird. Um, I keep messing up on this, because when you press down, you go here, but then if I press right, it still goes clockwise. So instead of pressing down and then right to go to the necklace, I press right and then it takes me to the glasses. That's why I mess- what the hell? Why can I move around so fast now? This plant is weird. What? Is this, like, water? No. Hold on. If I do this... Whoops. Oh. That was weird. So if you do this really quick, you actually... 
use it really quick. Wait, hold on. So, like, no, damn it, lost the color. Oh, well. I'm, oh, I'm red now. Oh, I didn't know that. So, the color changes your fish's color as well. That's kind of neat. All right. But yeah, if I do this... No, that didn't work. I don't even know. But how the hell did I move so fast? That doesn't make any sense. Let's just grip these again. And... Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna choose a different color. Why not? Just one time. Green. That's fine. So... She didn't have anything to do in the entire game. That's a bit strange. And I guess I'll go in here. The balloon thing down here didn't have anything to do in the entire game. I don't know, there's a lot of weird, redundant things in the game. I mean, sure, it's sort of supposed to just be like that, I suppose. I suppose, suppose. Wait, where am I now? I think I... Yeah, I'm right here, so I need to fall another time and then loop. But yeah, in... Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, crap. I have to do it all again. I guess I'll go down this way. In Yumaniki, there was a lot of redundant things that didn't mean anything or didn't have any use. It was just sort of there. You know, can I make it? No! God damn! Okay, well, gotta do it again now. Wait, can't I just fall, like, right here? Yeah, perfect. Alright. Um, what's I even saying? Yumaniki didn't really have a point. It was just there to be a weird, dreamlike game, and I guess this game is trying to do that too, but it's only half doing it in a weird way, where not everything is meaningless, but not everything isn't. I don't know. You know, sometimes he gets lost. Is the doctor still not in? I guess he's not. No piece probably still stuck in the vending machine. Well, I guess we'll just go through here then, and use the watch in here. Oh, god damn it. Well, easy mode. Engage. Seems like I need it. So if this is nothing, if she still tells me you're not ready, then I have no idea where to go now. We'll just have to see. I'm gonna unequip the the watch. Hi again, lady. Just a moment. Oh! That's new. Okay, so maybe she will tell me I'm ready now. We'll see. Hi. Are you sure this is what you want? Think carefully about it, my dear, and good luck. What do you mean? What could I do differently? Where could I go? that I haven't already been. There is no other water. There was that weird house on the moon, but I couldn't enter. Maybe I can now, but I honestly don't know, so I think I'm just gonna have to do this, and... we'll see what happens. Oh, by the way, heads up, I've heard that when the game is over, when you win the game, it just shuts down. And I'm not gonna boot it back up and sync the audio just to show the menu, so... Either you'll just have a black screen with me talking, or I'll just put, like, a static image on the screen or something like that. So, just a heads up. I lost my color. And I'm losing my items. So I guess this was really the end. But as I said, they did mention that there... or they... he said there were two endings, so... So there's clearly something I'm missing here. Dreaming Sarah! Okay. That was a pretty... Vague ending? Hmm. Well, I don't really know what to think. I liked the game, but mainly because it just invoked a lot of nostalgia for Yumaniki. Honestly, as much as it pains me to say this, but since I 
I was waiting for the game for so long and I thought it would be great, but as a game on its own, when you haven't played Yumaniki, I honestly don't think it was that great. The, the main strong point about the game was, number one, just the dreamlike sequences and areas that you went to that were they were kind of interesting to see, and B, the amazing music. The music was absolutely fantastic, but beyond that, there were a lot of funky things with the gameplay, and many of them were very similar to Yumaniki, which, I mean, it feels like he tried to do what Yumaniki did, but almost a little bit too much. I don't know. As I said, I like... Oh, she woke up in the hospital. The end. So she was... Oh, right. She... Or uh, they mentioned in the title, or not title, the... Uh... Oh! It didn't close. But I don't have a menu, so I'm not going to press anything, because that might end the game. We'll see. But uh, in the, the Steam info thing, they mentioned that she was in a coma or something, but that's kind of weird, because they didn't actually say that anywhere in the game. But again, it's kind of like Yumaniki, in that you find out the story as you go along, instead of having it told to you. So, oh yeah, I guess the uh, the car crash thing, after you had been drinking, that was like how she got in the coma, and you sort of found out as you went along. I actually like that, yeah, now that I think about it. But, that's Dreaming Sarah. I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say, I suppose, right? As I said, nice game, very relaxing. There was a lot of backtracking and stuff, and again, similar to Yumaniki, I'm gonna say that a million times, because that's what this game is. It's inspired by Yumaniki, and I think it was too inspired. As I said before, it's trying too hard to do what Yumaniki did. Yumaniki was very unique and special, and it didn't really have much gameplay, so Yumaniki wouldn't really work as a game being sold, because it's a free game. By the way, you can pick up Yumaniki wherever or whenever you want, it's free. But uh, since this game had to have gameplay, I feel like it almost fell short, because it kept wanting to be Yumaniki, and wanting to be very surreal and dreamlike and not make sense and not show you too much or purposefully being very vague and, you know, making you think, but I have to say it didn't really make me think. It was just kind of a nice experience, mainly because of the music. And the one thing that's in a gameplay perspective that I don't think it did well was that it was way too linear. I don't know how I'm supposed to get the second ending. I guess I'll try, maybe. I'll see maybe off camera or something. This might be the last episode. I might do another one. I think there's like a couple of secrets left, maybe. I'm not sure if I should go for them or not, because it would probably just be me running around the world over and over and over and over and over, and there's no point recording that. So... I'll probably see after I record this, so this might be the last episode, but it might not. But yeah, there was just too much backtracking from a linear path. There's no replay value here from what I can see. Yumaniki, you could tackle in a multitude of different ways. You could go to different doors in whichever order you wanted and get different effects, and it wasn't really about beating the game. It was about exploring and seeing things, and sure, he did add things that were sort of just there, and like weird people, and things that didn't have a purpose, but it felt like it was just sort of, again, added to be like Yumaniki, not added to make the game a more compelling experience. I don't know, I feel like I'm being really harsh, and that's not my intention, I don't hate the game, definitely not, I like the game quite a bit, but it just fell a bit flat for me, and it was not long enough. I don't know what else to say. So, nice game, I suppose, but that's pretty much it. So that's Streaming Sarah, and there's going to be a cut, by the way, probably somewhere here, because I am horrible at doing outros and making my thoughts known and stuff like that. So I'm going to press a button, and we'll see what the hell happens, if it just closes or what. Nothing. I'm pressing all the keys you can hear. Nothing is happening. Um... Clicking. Whoops, I clicked outside the window. Nothing. No. Q. 
No buttons. Nothing. Alright. Escape. Nope. I... Okay. So you... I think I'm in the menu. I was... I just switched between full screen and not full screen. So wait, I'm on the options thing now, I think? So if I go up and then continue? No. I don't even know what's going on. I can switch between full screen and not full screen by pressing left and right. This doesn't make any sense. I think I just have to alt F4, which is a bit strange to do this, but thanks for watching, I suppose. So that was Streaming Sarah. I'll look into it a little bit, see what I can find about things and stuff, and if I can explore a bit more and find something interesting, then I might do a second or a, another episode, but Hello! I just want to interject quickly. I'm actually recording this several days after I did this recording, and I had a couple things I wanted to mention. So, after this recording, I played the game many, many times again, probably like four or five times all the way through, trying to find extra things that I haven't done, or the alternate ending and anything like that, and I have not been able to find pretty much anything. I found a couple of small interesting tidbits, but not really anything worth making a vi that video on. So I think I'm gonna have to leave this for now, and then maybe if I find out how to get the the true ending or 100% ending or whatever, I might go back and show that just as a bonus video, because you can't really know if you've done everything or not as the game is right now, because since the whole thing happened now, where you can't do anything in the menu, and I had to just quit out of the game, uh, I think that might have fucked up my stats, or maybe they're just always fucked up. I've heard other people say that, where I checked my stats afterwards, and it says I have like several thousand hours of playtime, and 85% completion, but zero items found. So, yeah, that that doesn't really make any sense at all. So... I can't know at all if I'm even close to getting 100% or if I can on the save file or if there's something special you need to do or anything like that. I don't even know, so I'm gonna have to leave that for now. But as I said, I feel like I'm just a little bit too harsh on this game. I was just a little bit disappointed since my expectations were pretty high and I thought it would be something that might live up to Yumaniki, and it just didn't feel different enough from Yumaniki to be sort of fun and memorable and its own game, but it wasn't similar enough to invoke the same, like, wondrous, numb, dreamlike sensations that Yumaniki had. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I think a lot more games like this should exist and should improve on what this did. I think Yumaniki has a lot of good ideas if you implement them right, and that might just be me talking, or nostalgia talking, because I love Yumaniki, but maybe my standards are too high. I don't know, but thanks for watching this series. If it is a series, might be more, but probably not, we'll see. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'll see you in another game, probably. I'll go back to The Sun at Night, if this is the last episode. Even though I'm not really that into that game, I still want to give it another shot for a couple more episodes. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.